love to learn new things. I think it's a wonderful adventure. But you don't always see how the, the different things you learn fit together. It's only when you see that overall picture that it's, it's most exciting. Well, Big History is the course that does bring it together. It uses the timeline, it uses understanding of systems and history to let all your knowledge come together into one framework. And that's why I think it's the best course ever. And I encourage you to try it out. Hi, I'm Faye Steiger. I'm a ninth grader at Rochester Adams, and I'm taking the Big History course currently. I think that the kinds of kids that would like this class are the ones who are more interested in science and how everything started at the very beginning rather than just starting at human history. Hi, I'm Scott Seidner, and uh, I went to West Middle School. I really like Big History, and I like the way that it interacts with all the kids in the room, and it brings like a new light to history because it you know it intertwines sci science and history, so you can see everything from multiple points of view. So Big History is probably one of my favorite courses because the other ones are more traditional and it's the kind of thing that you get in every school year. But this one is just so different and I like how we use the notebooks and we have PowerPoints for each lesson. So I think that it, Big History is more for people who are into science because there's a lot of science. My science class helped me out in this class and vice versa. But the regular history class is if you want to learn the world history stuff. We are just starting to learn the world history stuff now halfway through the year. The regular world history course, they use the book more to base their lessons off of. It's just kind of different because for us, we use videos and we write, we have our own interactive notebooks that we write in, but they have like the worksheets and the history book, which some people prefer. So in the big history course, we start about 14 billion years ago at the beginning of the universe and we work up until we get to unit 10, which is the future. Uh, there's a lot of writing every day. You'll be answering questions in your notebook. Not all of it will, will be graded and you will have to read uh, articles at certain points, although the biggest amount of writing that you'll be doing is doing the investigation problems, which are small essays about the, a topic during the at, end of each chapter. We do what's called an investigation problem, which is like a little essay that we have to write, but it's our own reflective thoughts on what we've learned in the last unit. And there's a question that we have to build our essay off of. It really helps you dig into what you've learned and think more. It's not just taking stuff out of a book and writing it down. I find this is a vastly different course because we're not doing the regular worksheets and reading out of a book. Each day we come in, we watch videos, and we get to answer questions that are not just history, but also science, and can also do with many other topics. So for each lesson, we watch like about three videos each class, and then we have to answer questions in between because they're split into parts, and that's kind of how we run the class because we don't have a book. It's mostly online. I find it more interesting because we get to see everything from a bigger perspective and it starts out by viewing the entire universe and it slowly keeps getting smaller and smaller until we start learning about humans. And I enjoy it more because it's more modern instead of reading out of a book and doing this worksheet. It's more watch this video and there will be a PowerPoint of questions and you can talk to your friends and answer the questions together and then we discuss them as a class. I feel that it's a more modern view on history, and that's why I enjoy it. I personally like the Big History course because the amount of writing and reading that we do is just right. We don't have to use a book, but we still do have to read some articles sometimes. And they're pretty interesting because it's more science-based, and I'm not as into like world history and human history. I'm Jack Beale, and I'm teaching the Big History course um, at Rochester Adams High School. I have one section of ninth graders. Um, and just to kind of summarize really uh, you know, what I think the course is all about, 
Um, I think it takes uh, a lot of the questions that um, perhaps you've asked yourself when you were growing up or maybe when you were in a class and you wished you could raise your hand and, and ask the teacher to talk more about it. Uh, but for whatever reason, that particular subject, they just had to move on to the next thing. Um, this class seems to give you the time to pause and really look at some of the bigger questions that I think as human beings we've all asked ourselves at one point or another. Um, how did the stars get there? How did we get here? Um, where are we going? Um, you know, uh, in terms of our species, how have we impacted our environment and uh, how has our environment impacted the decisions and the places we live and what we do? I think that this course is geared towards inquisitive minds, um, those that have a, uh, a knack for um, science would certainly be um, very interested in the material that we cover in this class. There's a lot of carryover between um, the physical and biological sciences, and uh, but we talk about other things like anthropo anthropology, archaeology, cosmology, um, just philosophy, sociology. Um, we really hit, uh, it's an interdisciplinary approach to learning. Um, I think that the class offers the opportunity for students to be problem solvers. If uh, I'm always telling my, my kids, I said, okay, problem solvers, let's, let's get to it, and I'll throw a task at them, and then they have to come up with a solution. There's no right or wrong answer as long as their ideas are fresh and they're their own. Um, I'm excited to be teaching this class. Um, I think that uh, it's only going to get better. Um, you know, after a year under our belt here in Rochester Schools, I think that we have a firm understanding of now of what this class is about and what's the best way to deliver it to a ninth grader. Um, and uh, I look forward to uh, the opportunity to do it next year.